Okay, I just wanted to show you how to apply the collar with piping to the um, pajamas. So I've made the collar with the piping um, and then I'm just going to pull the piping out just a little bit, just bunch it up and just um, cut about a centimeter or three eighths of an inch off the end just to so that there's no piping in the seam allowance. Same on the other end, I find some um, serger threading tweezers are helpful for this. There we go. Okay, so now I have my pajama top and this is honestly <laughs> such an easy way to attach a collar. So it's using a full facing. So um, I'm just gonna need to make sure that the interface side of my collar is facing up. And um, so this is the center front here. Here's a notch. The notch is going to match, not with the piped edge, but with the folded edge here. Just gonna pin that in place. And then the notch in the edge of your collar is going to match the shoulder seam there. And then everything should just match. So I'm just gonna stay stitch it onto that neckline um, just with a scant, <laughs> a scant three eighths of an inch. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I am gonna actually match that. Um, piped edge with that notch. It'll be fine. A scant three eighths of an inch um, seam allowance. And this might seem like a bit of a strange way of doing it. Just realize that this fabric is really fine. Um, so I'm just now I'm trying to adjust where I'm pinning, so I'm pinning into the in within the seam allowance rather than um, beyond it, because I think even with these fine pins, it might create permanent holes, and I don't want that. So on the other end again, just matching the end of that collar with that notch. Okay. So I'm just going to stay stitch this um, collar to that neckline just using a scant three eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so I've stay stitched um, that collar on. Now the next thing we're going to do is attach um, the facing. Uh, so I've attached the back and the front facing so then I've put a label on. Um, now I want to have piping down here, the center front and also this kind of like lapel big. So when it opens like this, you'll have piping along that corner. So, um, what you need to do is this is, this piece of piping is too short, but I'll show you is, um, sew your piping onto the center front and this, just this little button extension here, starting from here. So starting from that notch, just so that you have it crossing over like that. I have done that already on the other side to show you. So I started just so that it overlaps with the piping there. And I just um, clipped my corner to turn the corner. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna cut this off kind of long. And I'm going to just remove the piping back to this point here. Now, if you were thinking ahead more than me, you may have um, caught this down here, but I didn't. Oop, I didn't quite remove enough, but I think it's going to be okay. Um, I could probably pull it out from the bottom just a tiny bit if I wanted to. You can always like yank it down from the bottom just to, there we go, that's better. Okay, so now, so I'll do that on both sides. I'll attach the um, piping like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew the facing on. 
Now you just need to make sure that um, when you sew the facing on, you just have this bit of extra um, piping just flipping, flipping up like this. I'll show you what that's gonna look like. If I can, oops, that's a terrible pin. <laughs> look at that pin, that's even worse. Okay, <laughs> it's a casualty, okay. So that when it's sewn, it's just going to meet in the corner like that. So I'm going to sew all the way around the neckline and down the center front um, to sew that piping on. Again, just snugging up to um, the original piping line. Okay, so I've sewn that on and I'm just gonna show you how to clip this uh, neckline. I like to flip it over and clip from the shirt side. And the reason is because <laughs> if you make a hole in the shirt, it's gonna really suck a lot more than if you make an accidental hole in the facing. So um, I've already cut that corner off at the um, center front. Um, and then I'm just going to clip into the neckline curve. Now you do have to kind of, there's a couple of lines of stitching here because one's the stay stitching and one's the actual stitching. You just have to be a bit aware. Actually, I'm gonna grade this a little bit as well. Uh, I'm gonna grade um, some of this interfaced facing off. I ran out of um, the interfacing that I wanted to use, so I then had to use some interfacing that's a little bit stiffer than I would normally select, but um, we're in lockdown here, so, um, you know, I, I can't just go to the fabric store and, and get more, so. Um, you'll see I've got two different kinds of interfacing here. So just being careful not to cut off anything I oughtn't. Everyone, Jess laughs at me because because <laughs> I use my clippers to grade and stuff and I just find that they're so useful for that. Weirdly, I find that I have a bit of control and on this um, stiffer stuff, the, the shears are fine. Maybe you have a better pair of uh, scissors or shears to do this with, like duckbill or something like that, but I don't. So there we are, I've graded that. Now I'm gonna go to the shirt side and I'm gonna use my clippers. And I'm just going to clip into this curve. I'm using this hand to just ensure that nothing's kind of tucked under and I'm not going to clip into anything that I shouldn't. I can feel here, see it's wanting to like um, do that and I don't want that to happen so I'm just again using my fingers to just make sure it's nice and oops out of the way. See that that wanted to like fold over like this so I just need to keep pushing it clear so I'm just clipping into just the seam allowance okay so moment of truth let's turn it through so I'm just taking the facing folding it through I like to stick my thumb up into there to fold these things. Oh, look, looks so nice. So that's gonna fold back and become the collar. What I'm gonna do now, let's do the other side. Let's see if I did the other side well. So cute, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to understitch um, 
the facing. So just catching the seam allowance to the facing. I'm going to start my understitching, you know, a, a few inches down from that top, just because this is designed to be worn open like this, and you obviously don't want to see the understitching there. So I'll start at about where the first button will go. Um, then I'll understitch the neckline edge as well and press it. <laughs> 